Hi, this is Michael Flo with the implementation staff. Uh, this tip Tuesday is going to be about the new company custom drop-down lists. Um, so what those are going to be is under our add edit and our companies section. For example, if we open up this ABC company value here and we look at our custom info tab, uh, we do have areas in here with all the custom information. Uh, historically, these have just been free text fields that you could put whatever you'd like in here. Uh, but for this example, I've got a shipping method, carrier, and account. Um, shipping method and carrier would be good candidates for a drop-down list value, but an account should probably not be something uh, in terms of maybe a commercial calibration lab that you would not want to be able to pull those from a list value. So what we can do to edit those list values is we can go to our add edit and then our system wide menu here. Uh, and if you're in version 13, you'll now notice a company information list object. Um, up here at the top, you can see your one to 30 list values, which correspond with the custom one to 30 within the add edit company. Um, so here, I think we had our uh, shipping method. Uh, so we'll maybe put ground Air. and then we'll go over to our second list and then we can put in UPS and FedEx and hopefully I've put those in the right place uh, but remember for three that was our account so we're going to want to leave that one blank in this instance um, I'm just going to do a quick reload all settings and then from here we will go back and open our company value up and once we have our company value up we'll see our shipping method so we've got our ground and our next day air values and then we'll have also our FedEx and UPS so we can now set those inside of our drop-down list instead of having that as a free text value that might not be uniform across multiple companies from here again we said that our shipping account we did not want to pull from that validation list so what we could do from here is going to our admin menu and then profile manager for the system administrators. We could then use our find function up in the top right within our profile manager and search for custom. And then down here at the very bottom, we will have our validating company information section. And you'll see in here that we now have security setting options for our company one validation against the selection list, adding new values, and then we can also prompt before adding. Um, so for example, on that uh, list three, we would probably just want all three items unchecked. For other areas that we want to control and make sure that the options are limited for what those users can then select, we may want to ensure that we have validate checked, but we might not want to be able to add new items uh, on the fly in those lists. Uh, and then if we're not adding, we're probably not going to need the prompt either. Uh, these validation list items here work very similar to the other custom validation list options throughout the software. If anyone has any other questions or anything, please feel free to reach out to us at support at IndieSoft.com and happy Tuesday.